Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name's David. Let's get started with today's video. As you read by the title, this was my first ever estate sale find. And you guys, I have been to like three or four, maybe five of them already since then. So I'm excited to share with you all the things that I found at really good prices too. I'll try to like, if I can remember, I'll try to go over the pricing on some of the stuff because I think it was such a good deal. So let's get started. So a lot of the places I went to had a sign on the door that said, do not film. So I wasn't really able to film inside the homes, which I totally respect that. I'm not going to do that. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of inside the homes but obviously I get to show you the things I found I'm gonna start with some of these blankets that I got and I'll kind of go over the pricing a little bit with some of these so this first one here this is a hundred percent wool and it's woven this was ten dollars I love the fringes that are on here and I like the woven kind of texture honestly I just kind of grabbed it not really reading the tag. If I knew this was 100% wool, I probably wouldn't have got it just because it's dry clean only. I'm not really sure how to clean this up. So I haven't really washed it or anything. It does say Weave O oh, the Irish Tapestries Ireland. Handcrafted in Dahida, Ireland. I don't know if I said that correctly, but that's the tag on it. So it's probably worth a little bit more than $10. But that's not the point. I really liked the color and the woven texture of it. It's annoying. I can't have my cats near this because I can't really clean it. So there's one blanket. All right, then another one that I picked up for $10 was this one here. I liked the colors in it. In the lighting in the home, it looked a little bit more burgundy. And then I got it here to my house and it looks a little bit more purple. I'm not sure if I'll re-gift this or something because it really doesn't match my home aesthetic. But I was thinking if I were to keep it, I could use it as a throw on the couch for fall time. Because I am getting kind of fall colors when I look at this with the purples and the orange kind of colors. And it has some beautiful fringe pieces on the ends. This one was probably handmade, but not by the owner of the home that I went into. I think this was like a store-bought one that she had, she or he had purchased. So anyways, I went back the next day because they were having like half off everything. So that is a fun tip in case you've never been to an estate sale and you're wanting to start going. If you go one day, like the first day, everything's going to be like full price and you pay whatever if you really want the item. If you want to wait and see if it's still there, then go back the last day. So like usually they have a three day sale. It'll be like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But the ones I went to were only Friday and Saturday. Each sale is a little bit different. So you just keep in contact with whoever is running the sale and they'll kind of let you know. The Friday it was like full price and then the next day was half off like 50 to 75% off depending on which estate sale I went to. But they actually dropped down the price from, they had the blankets marked at $5 and nobody was buying them. When I got there, it was kind of late in the day and they were getting ready to close up. So that's another good tip. Kind of go at the very last minute and they will cut you a really good deal. So I got all these hand crocheted blankets for a dollar each, which I thought was a steal. And they are really nice neutral colors. The pattern is really nice. So I, I've already washed these and everything and I, they're just beautiful, beautiful blankets. So here's one pattern. It has this nice, I'm not really sure what the patterns are called. I have to probably look that up. Beautiful, right? So there's one. Here is another one that's more on the yellow cream side, kind of a neutral yellow. And it has that same kind of bumpy pattern with a rounded border. These are so pretty. Here's another neutral colored one. I can't believe they were only a dollar. That is such a good deal. This one, the border is kind of scalloped, which I really like that texture there on the end there. And again, it has kind of like a bumpy texture, which is really nice. And then there was this green one, which I thought could be really fun for like Christmas time to use as a throw. It has these hearts in the blanket there. So that one was really pretty. Then I got this one. I know I got a lot. 
<laughs> this orangey terracotta one I thought was really, really pretty. And I thought maybe this could go in my bedroom. Again, that like bumpy texture and some scalloped looking edges a little bit. A little bit of a texture on the edge and then they also had another one of these that I got for a dollar so I feel like overall that was not bad that I paid ten dollars for the other two because that was 20 bucks and then a dollar for each of these so really I only paid less than thirty dollars for all these blankets all right let's move on I also found a few clothes at one of the estate sales and I only paid a dollar for this which I thought was such a good deal it's a really cute sweater, kind of like gives me like uh, Mr. Rogers type of vibe, <laughs> but I love that. It's really cute. Very nice sweater. The brand is Liberty Sweaters, and it's really comfortable. Here's another sweater I picked up. I just like the patterns of it. I figured this could be really cute for fall and winter time. Again, a dollar. Such a good deal, right? Another one. I've already worn this and I love it. The arms are a little bit like baggy on me, but I kind of like that look. It has these cute little buttons in the front. Absolutely love this sweater. I cannot believe it's a dollar. And then I found this as well for only a dollar, which I thought was a steal. And I've worn this out so many times already. It's one of my favorite plaid shirts now. And I think it looks pretty good on me. It goes with my hair and my eyes. So I cannot believe these clothes actually fit me. I don't know whose they were, but I was so excited. The dollar a piece. What a good deal. Another really fun find was this hand crocheted pillow. This was only $5, which I thought was a good deal has a pillow in it already it looks pretty clean like it didn't look dirty at all so that's kind of why I was like eh I'll go ahead and get it but if I wanted to wash it I could just throw it in the wash machine and it probably would be okay in the dryer but yeah only five bucks for this I thought it would be really fun to throw on the couch to give some texture it's really pretty and then I also found these handbags that were like quilted I don't know if the owner had quilted them or if they bought them this way, but there was no tag in the inside of them. It has like a zipper right here, but I thought this was really pretty. I cannot remember what I paid for this. Here's another hand quilted bag, which I thought could be fun for like a reusable grocery bag. I thought the colors were really pretty, super, super pretty. This one I think was $7.50 if I remember right which I didn't think was too bad for a hand quilted bag. It kind of reminds me of Vera Bradley, but there's no, again, there's no um tag or anything with this one. I still think they're really nice. Kind of some random stuff I'm gonna go over. I found this tin and I opened it up just to see like what was in there. It was a bunch of sewing supplies. So a bunch of like thread, some needles, a bunch of buttons. And I could totally use this stuff whenever I use my sewing machine. I went ahead and picked this up. She practically gave it to me. I mean, I don't even know what she charged for this stuff. This stuff I'm about to show you. I got everything that I'm about to show you for, f I think, $5. Like, total. And I just couldn't believe it. But they set, they had a deal at the last day. Grab a walmart size bag like this. And you could fill it with anything that had no price tag on it. And they just charge you $5. I was like, what? So look at these items that I put in the bag and found, right? This one was made in Hong Kong. Some patinaed silver candle stick holder. And this one looks like a brass made in India. Brass, I don't really know. If you guys know, comment below. But I just thought it was cute. I like the shape. I like that it's brass. I like this one that it's patinaed silver. Those are great pieces. I found this glass bowl that I'm going to do a DIY with. So I'll clean this up and redo the bowl. I got a, a lot more in this box. Okay, some more silver pieces. This really pretty bowl here. And this like tray, which I thought was nice. I feel like that could go in the bathroom and hold some kind of bathroom pieces on there. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to go through this whole box or not, so I'm going to just try to quickly do it. 
also in the bag. So all of, all of this was $5, like I said. Were these cookie cutters. I figured I could use doing like clay projects or if I ever make cookies. There's a whole bunch of random ones. I got two of these glass candlestick holders. This little glass tray. I think this holds a candle. Like a taller, bigger candle would go on that. This I got two of these little glasses. Kind of random. I got this here. I don't know if this is crystal or glass. I can't tell. Whatever. Anyways, I got a pair of scissors, which I could always use. This round cookie cutter. This is a potato peeler, it looks like, to peel stuff. This to, like, scoop. There's two different sizes, like a little scoop. Um, these random little glass caps, I think, to a bottle or something like that. This, I think a bottle opener is what this is bottle opener. I got actually a couple different, like, I got three of these bottle, or can openers, I should say. They look like can openers. Handheld ones. This is a corkscrew, like, for wine. This glass bowl with all these wooden napkin ring holders in there. And this random piece. So it's kind of like a bunch of random stuff. But... For five bucks, it's really not bad. And I probably will use most of this stuff. I also found this antique china letterbox. I think is what it was called. For eight dollars, which I thought was cool. I don't know if people like put their mail or something in this box. Like their letters that they got back in the day. I don't know how old this is, but based on the on looking at it, it looks pretty old. But in the inside, it said it was an antique letterbox from China on this, like, sticky note. Ouch. So I thought that was cool, and I really like the hardware on it and how it, like, clasps and the hinges on the back. And the overall color, I think, is really nice. I thought eight bucks was worth it, and I, honestly, I'm thinking maybe I could store my mail in here. And then I got this croc, which was only, I think I got it half off. So it was only like four or five dollars. I cannot remember. Four or five dollars. And I found these wooden pieces and they just basically gave me these. I think it's really pretty. And I just had these in it. Um, I got these wooden pieces. I probably will have to clean them up. But I figured I, could, I would actually use like pieces like this. Whenever I'm doing projects and I need something like that. So I think this will probably go in my craft room if I ever need something to like mix something or whatever. And then <laughs> I found this really cool library lamp. I thought it was so, so cool. It has a pretty heavy outlet plug in and then this little thing you just pull down and it gets pretty bright. I actually had to go out and find the light bulb. I got it from Home Depot and popped it in there. And this, I don't know if this is like alabaster glass or something or what material this is, but it almost looks like a stone. I think it's so, so pretty. And I like the kind of aged bronzy brass kind of color this has. It's really, really nice. Even the wood base, everything about it I thought was really, really nice. Originally it was 15, but they marked it down to 750, so I snatched it up. Thought that was a good price. These go for hundreds of dollars online. Lights that look very very similar. I thought this could be cute in a little desk setting. Pull the light, you know, kind of set it up like a library nook. Another croc slash vase I found was this really pretty kind of blue gray croc. I thought it was so pretty. I think I paid $20 for this or maybe it was 10. I can't remember. Around that it had a chunk missing right here like a chip 
and a chip over here but honestly I just think it adds character to the piece so I really wasn't worried and I found these really pretty florals from Hobby Lobby they had these like green leaves on them so I just popped them all off just so it was these two colors this light yellow with the brown I think it looks so much better getting rid of that green piece that was on there popped them in there and I thought it looked really good with this base like the colors like complement each other I just think it looks so high-end and beautiful this looks way more expensive than what I actually paid the stems I think I paid maybe 250 or three bucks a piece it really was not that expensive for the stems another cool piece I found was this little picture I've seen these I've seen the, like similar ones on Instagram and I think I only paid maybe two maybe four dollars I cannot really remember to be honest two to four dollars range for this piece maybe it was a dollar I don't remember and then at that same estate sale I found this ceramic insulator so they used to use these on the top of the telephone poles and they would screw this piece onto the telephone pole and then wrap the the wire around this piece so this is a ceramic one they used to make you know they used to make these like in glass apparently all different materials but i'm wondering how old this is because it's made of ceramic i don't know i just think it's something really fun and cool to collect a part of history i don't know how much this would go for but it was only like a couple dollars is what the guy sold it to me for and he basically gave me this for free i think it was inside that blue gray vase and he forgot to ring it up so i went back inside and he told me it's fine just keep it and i was like oh really so he basically gave this to me and then this one i got for 50 cents so I thought that was a really good deal for a candle snuffer made of brass. So I got two of them. How cute are these? Some more of the silver pieces I found. And I'm pretty sure these are really old. They are a lot heavier than the other silver pieces I found. This one doesn't have a print. Oh, it does say something on the bottom. It says the dunes. The dunes are something 730 so I'm not sure I'll have to look that up right there but the patina on it was really really pretty like showing that almost like oil slick look on there I think that is really cool and this is like I said they're a lot heavier this one had this cute little thing right here and on it it says 1897 so I don't know if that was the year of this or like I don't know I don't really know to be honest the bottom has a stamp uh, says Tudor plate something community on there so again I'll probably have to look this up but I just thought it was cu a cute little mug and then I found another mug today I went to an estate sale found this silver mug how cute is this I don't even know what she charged me for this Probably like a dollar or two dollars. I found these hooks that I probably will use to hang plants. Just screws up into the ceiling and it's a really beautiful kind of design on the hook. I got two of those and then just a regular cup hook or whatever these are called. So I got that. This random wooden wheel. It's kind of random. So like for all this stuff, I think it was like seven bucks. I don't even know. And this Kind of really aged brass hardware you can't even really see it in this bag i don't even know if it's all there i just picked it up but it looks like it has a bunch of these things and then it has the round piece so you would stick this inside of that piece and then stick the other end in it there would be your handle so i thought I would probably use these if I updated a dresser or something, but I don't even know if all the pieces are there. I'll have to go through it later and find out. Either way, if I get a couple of them, still was worth whatever I paid. And then they had these old books that were only $2 a piece. So I picked up a few of those. I didn't really look at the titles or anything. I just kind of went based on the coloring. 
I thought the colors were just so nice. The, there's something about age stuff that just has so much character and life into it when I look at it. I thought these were really, really pretty, even though some people might just be like, it looks like it's some junk. But even look at the pages, how they're dark. I don't know, something about it. How cool are these? It would be fun for styling on the shelf or something. Especially if I go for more of a moody theme. I was so excited when I found it. I think I paid only $20 for this little wooden side table situation. It's a little wobbly on the top, but I figured I could just screw it in a little bit tighter. It is cracked right here, but the coloring is just so pretty. And I'm pretty sure this is over 100 years old, so it is a true antique. It's not just a vintage item. But then again, I'm not really sure. There's no like maker's name or anything on the bottom anywhere. But the interesting design of it tells me it's a pretty old piece. And it's pretty solid and it's like quality wood. And then even some of these nails. So I just think that's really interesting. Well, I guess this piece right here is like the, look at the screw on there. Like the shape of the screw is different so i thought that was a really really nice piece good side table or maybe nightstand and then i found this beautiful piece right here i think this was only four bucks i think is what he had charged me which i didn't think was bad at all i like the kind of cottage feel it gives like you're in the country and the beautiful wooden frame and it's kind of neutral. It would kind of go with anything. This is an original piece. And then I found this frame, which I don't really like the plastic feel. I might just remove that and put uh, a little painting. I'm going to do a little painting. Probably with one of the Dollar Tree canvases. Just paint something pretty. Maybe like a landscape and pop it in there and take this plastic out. And I thought the frame is really, really nice. It's made of metal. I think that was like 50 cents or something. And I got this kind of random last piece, which there was a mint apparently still stuck in there. I didn't even realize that. It says Holland Mold Barbara Gilbert. I guess painted these trees all over this. And here's the top of it. So it's just like a really neat shape. I thought that was really pretty. And then the same place where I found that really great wooden little side table, I found this lamp that was actually sitting on it and I went back the next day and it was still there. So I went ahead and grabbed it and he only charged me $2.50 for this milk glass lamp and it has this little key that you twist and it turns on. It came with this shade. I don't really like the lampshade so I think I'll take it off whenever I display it. And I found this really cool light bulb from Walmart. They're only eight or nine bucks for a two pack of these bulbs. So I popped it in there to kind of give a really fun look so it doesn't need a shade. It's a very warm amber glow. It's so pretty. But I thought for $2.50, what a steal. Such a good deal. I'm not going to turn them on or anything. I just wanted to show you. And then I found this one was only, I think, four. It was actually half this. So I think I paid $2 for this one. And it had the candle in it which I think is a really beautiful candle as well. I don't really like the golds, like how shiny and new it looks, but I think overall this is a really fun, cool looking piece for two bucks. Really not bad. And oh my gosh, when I found this piece, I snatched it off the wall. I think I paid half price. So I think this was only 15, if I do remember correctly. Yeah, I think this was only $15. But look how beautiful, like this frame is just so pretty. The beautiful painting right here, absolutely gorgeous for $15. And I'm loving this beautiful wooden frame. I just couldn't believe I got this for only $15. It has this black velvet going around the picture. I also got some other paintings I'll show you in a minute. And then I found this jewelry box, which is so cool when it opens, everything like pops out at you. It's a little dirty, so I figured I'd clean it up, but this was only $5, which I thought was really not too bad for this piece. I think it's kind of neat how everything, when you close it, everything closes shut. 
the bottom's a little tricky. And then you just snap it closed. And then this thing, it moves over and opens the latch. How cool is this? Even if I don't use it for jewelry, I could use it for whatever else. Put stuff in it. Alright, I'm going to show you some other pictures and paintings that I got. I can't remember if I got this from the thrift store or the estate sale. But I'll just show you anyway because I literally cannot remember where I picked it up. I thought the print was really cool and the frame was really nice. I'm not sure if it really goes with my home. But, you know, if people are doing more of an eclectic look nowadays, this could be something really pretty. I don't know if I paid six or three I can't remember. Again, I don't even know where I got this, but I thought it was a really cool piece. Now here is another original painting I picked up and it actually has the certificate on the back here, which I thought was really cool. It says Jameson Galleries certifies that this is a genuine art piece. And then it says the artist right here is, it says Chilton. The owner says Irving Bartlett. Maybe that was the owner that own the piece. I don't know. I don't think I paid 40 for this. I think it was half off or 70. It was either half off or 75% off. I cannot remember, but this is such a great piece, especially like if you lived in the city, how cool would this be somewhere in your home? Another piece, this is kind of what drove me there to go in the first place was this beautiful painting. Oh my gosh. It was sitting there on a chair just screaming my name. So when I saw it, I ran and screamed and grabbed it and was like, you're mine. <laughs> Basically, that's what happened. So I think I paid half off of this. So it was only $5 for this piece, which I thought was such a good deal. It does have a lot of damage on the actual frame. There's some pieces missing on the corners. So I'll probably have to figure out how to repair those pieces, which shouldn't be too hard to just blend them in. Maybe use some of that rub and buff over it, kind of blend it in. Painting is so, so pretty. There's no certificate with this one, but that is just gorgeous. Beautiful painting. And then I also picked up some frames that were either a dollar or 50 cents each. Again, I got another like metal one and another metal one as well. And look at the back. It's like this red velvet, which kind of to me just indicates it is an older piece. So these are nice, nice, beautiful frame that I can use to frame artwork, have a collection of different prints to put on the wall, make a gallery wall with. All right, I just have a few more items I want to share with you and then we'll be done with the video. So. Hang tight, we're almost done. I got a few more blankets and some and a quilt I wanted to show you. This, I couldn't believe I found this. I don't, I cannot even remember what I paid for this. It was probably like 10 bucks, I wanna say, maybe $10. But this is, I don't know if somebody like literally, they had to have crocheted this blanket. Look how teeny tiny this is. So this is more of just one of those blankets you display on the couch or on the end of a bed. Not really one you would like actually use as a blanket. It's just a decorative one. How beautiful is this though? Has these really nice scalloped edges, all this kind of like floral pieces put together. This must have taken a long, long time to create. And I just really appreciate the work that went into this. But I just had to have this piece. I just thought it was so pretty. And then another blanket. This was only $2. And I thought it was more of a practical one. It's really nice and warm. And I've already washed. I've already washed all of these actually. They washed up really great for me. But I like this material. It's very, very soft. And I thought for $2 is not bad, but this could be one of those blankets you take maybe to a picnic or something, or if you have a night out, maybe you're going to the drive-in to see a movie and you just need like a nice comfy blanket. This would be a great one to take, especially like it's not like a nice one you got from the store. It's just like a $2 one from an estate sale. <laughs> and then I found this quilt, which I thought was really nice. It does have some areas that are falling apart. So I might have to go in 
and figure out if I could just stitch over those to kind of secure it better. I might even try to dye this quilt because I don't want to say that it's dirty, but the white isn't as bright as it could be. And then you could see right here this kind of faded yellow. It doesn't like look the best. I'm thinking I might do some patchwork or something over the quilt. See like here's some of the areas where the flowers are all ripped up. It's kind of like that all over the place. This was, a, I think, 10 or 12 bucks for this quilt, which I thought was a really good deal because some of the estate sales had some really beautiful quilts, but they were like $125. And even at half off, I still was like, I don't know, like it just seemed like a lot of money for a used quilt, you know what I mean? And then see like there's like a stain that didn't come out in the wash. So I am considering dyeing it if that's possible and just kind of restitching up pieces and kind of make it my own. I don't know. You guys think I should do that? Cause like these colors don't really go with anything in my home anyway, this pink and the green. Just kind of like makes it look older, but I'm thinking if I can put some new life into this piece and just kind of fix it up, was thinking like maybe doing that. Oh, they even stitched, it looks like they stitched their initials into the quilt. I'm not really sure what it says though. Something WW. Maybe it goes this way. I think it goes that way. MMG. Oh my gosh. It says MMG 1934. That's crazy. It's from the 30s and it's still like, wow, that is crazy. So anyways, do you guys think I should go ahead and try and dye it? I don't know what color I would do. Probably something a bit darker to cover this, the pinks and the greens and stuff. I might have to do a little sample test to make sure that they'll take the dye pretty well. I don't, I just don't know. I feel like that might be the best option to cover these colors and then do some nice stitch work or something over it to really hold those down because they are like falling apart. All right, so let's move on. I have a few more items and then we're done. So today when I went to another state sale, I found this beautiful painting. Again, the florals, it's very moody. This was screaming my name. It was $25, but she dropped it down to 18 for me. So thank you, Amy, shout out to you. I just think that's so amazing that she did that for me. This is just stunning. It's just a stunning piece. I even love the frame. I think the frame is so, so nice. I feel like this will go in my bedroom because I like the moodiness of this. So we'll see where this ends up going in my house. I have a lot to start going through. Now that I have a lot more nicer pieces, I'm gonna start going through all the other things and getting rid of them. I got this frame, which I thought was really nice. Just a wooden frame. It was only two bucks. The mirror, I'll show you all my stuff, but Basically, it is just a mirror, and it has this really nice metal frame on there, which I thought was nice. There is a scratch on the mirror, but it's not a big deal. And then this frame, which again, I'm trying not to glare that light in your face. I'm sorry. I don't know. Hopefully, you guys can see the picture here of the print. She gave that to me for $2, and I had this frame already in my house, so I just popped it in this frame. I might take the glass out. I don't really know if I should just leave the glass and kind of go over the picture, but it was torn like in the corner up here. So that's why I wanted it behind the glass so it wouldn't tear anymore. But I thought for two bucks really is not bad how, how big it was. So that was a really cool print. Here comes my kitty. All right, so that was pretty much it for the estate sale finds. I probably am missing some things because I have Lots going on. I still have some thrift hauls to do for you guys that are coming up soon. But I just want to say thank you for supporting my channel and watching today's video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite thing is that I found. And don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share the video with your friends so they can see what I got for the cheap cheap. But if you guys want to check out any estate sales around your area, you could go to estatesales.net 
just type in your location either by name or by zip code and you can kind of see a list of estate sales that are on there once you find the ones you kind of like then you can follow them on Facebook and see when they start posting their estate sales over on their Facebook page and that's what I did I'm really excited to start going to more estate sales and sharing all the fun finds with you guys again thanks for watching today's video I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.